so today I'm going to be doing my Twitter q and I don't think I've ever done a Twitter version of a Q&A video for, before, so this will be kind of interesting. Um, I just got home from school, so all day I was looking forward to this, so like this video for my effort, if you want to, I'm just kidding. Okay, so I have all the questions on my Twitter. I told people to hashtag, I'll leave it right here if you still have questions, and I'll answer them in another Q&A video, but hashtag ask Michaela. Yes, right somewhere around here and people ask me questions so here we go I'm just gonna get started by the way I was secretly eating these before we started filming. first question do you watch the show pretty little liars I actually don't um, I never got to watch the first episodes I usually don't end up watching the whole thing because then I have a lot of catching up to do so no I don't watch pretty little liars where do you buy most of your clothes <coughs> forever 21 Charlotte Russe Paxson, TJ Maxx, and I can't think of any more else, but yeah, I love all those stores. Um, do you have any pets? If so, what is it? If you don't, what type of pet would you like to get one day? Okay, so many of you guys know about my previous dog, Ella. It's really sad that I even have to bring this up, but she ran away from me. I don't know why. It's kind of like... like I feel bad because, like, I don't know what the heck I did that made her want to run away from me. Like, I was a great owner. But, like, I fed her every day. I walked her every day. I don't know why she ran away from me. I guess she hated me. I don't freaking know. But it's really sad. And this happened, like, a few months ago. I just didn't mention it in any of my videos because it was kind of depressing and I felt guilty for some reason. I hope a great owner found her. Not owner, just a great person. I hope they found her and she is in a safe home. Next question. Um, oh wait, I didn't finish answering that. And if I would want another dog, it would probably be um, a Pomeranian. They're so freaking cute. Scrolling, scrolling. Okay. Um, count how many times I say okay. Okay. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Italy. Straight up Italy. I'm part Italian, so it would be great to trace my roots. Okay, what do you do to your hair daily? Do you use any products? Um, daily, I'd probably say uh, I just use a leave-in conditioner in my hair, and I actually made it myself. If you guys want me to do a DIY, I might in the near future. What's the next question? Okay, how old were you when you started wearing heels? Okay, so I went on my first cruise in the sixth grade, and that was the first time my mom actually let me wear, like, heels. Oh, crap, my phone's ringing. But they were just, like, this big. They were not even big heels whatsoever. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, I guess that counts as sixth grade. I was allowed to wear heels in sixth grade, yeah. And it was only for, like, the formal night on the cruise ship, and I thought I was so cool with my little, like half inch heels or <laughs> it was funny do you straighten your hair and yes I do the whole entire summer and a couple months um, before that I did not touch my hair with heat once I'm so proud of myself now that it's school I started back up again I kind of want to look a little presentable you know so I straighten my hair like once or twice yeah more so once a week um, this is like my second week of school, so last week I only straightened it once. What's your favorite sport? And my favorite sport would have to be football. Even though I don't really, I wouldn't enjoy playing football or anything. I mean, I don't want to be tackled. But uh, my family is like a big Patriots fan. We're big Patriots. What the heck am I saying today? We are big Patriots fans fans because my parents are from New England. I was born in New England. Especially on the Super Bowl days, our whole family gets together and we have like friends over and family friends and stuff and we watch the Super Bowl and eat chips and my mom makes her infamous chip dip and it's really good. How did you get started with YouTube? Okay, so this is really funny and I hope some of you guys remember on my Michaela channel. My one of my best friends, Tessa, and I, when we were like in seventh grade, we decided to make a web show. And this is not I'm Mickey. For those of you guys who knew about my I'm Mickey web show, no, that was with Nicole and my friend Austin back in the day. But no, I had like two web shows going on because I was crazy. And um, so Tessa and I, we called it the Mickey and Tess show. And we had people send requests with what they wanted us to do every week. It was like so weird. And we would like film in my living room. 
So yeah, that was how I got started on YouTube. And I just watched other people's web shows because that was cool back then, I guess. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Next question, how tall are you and are you allergic to anything? I am 5'2 and a half on the urge of being 5'3, I'd like to say. And <clears throat> are you allergic to anything? Yes, I am. If you guys know me, you'll know that I blow my nose a lot because I have allergies and it sucks. Especially when I'm sick. It's like I already have allergies on top of being sick, so it's like, uh, no. I hate it. And, um, actually, you know, the really funny thing is I have tissues right here. <laughs> They're always with me. You're soon going to be an adult. How does it feel? Well, I'm going to be 18, um, next year. So that's kind of freaking scary, actually. To tell you the truth, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, I mean, I already have a job. I have a car. So I've got the basics down. I pay for most of my stuff, including makeup. But my mom pays for my food, of course. And she pays for, um... You know, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'm sorry, I felt like eating, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm going to get so many hate comments on this. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It was just like, have it. I sound like a freaking guinea pig. Don't comment about this, okay? Ew, I probably have chocolate on my teeth now. Okay, what's your favorite colors? Pink, black, and turquoise. I don't like black by itself. I don't like pink by itself. I only like them together. How do you keep your hair healthy? Um, well, I wash it every other day. And I use a leave-in conditioner, as I said. I'll end up doing a hair care routine video, just so you know. So, I don't want to give everything away quite yet. How many minutes is this? Holy crap, it's 10 minutes long. Last time it took my video like 15, 16, 17 hours to upload, so I'm going to make this quick. Um, did you go to prom? No, I didn't. I'm a senior now, so I'll probably go this year. Okay. Why do I say okay all the time? How often do you see your subscribers and... Why am I showing you guys this? Like, all of a sudden, I just decided to show you the actual question when I didn't do this the whole time. But, um, so, yeah, Reemsha asked how often do I see my subscribers. And I don't see my subscribers often. I'm lucky if I see them on occasion. Um, a couple years ago, I met a subscriber at the mall, and it was so weird. I'm sure you guys already know the story because I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I was in the line at Old Navy with my mother, and the cashier was, like, 16, 17 years old. And as she was folding our clothes to put them in the bag, she just kept eyeballing me. And I was like, like, why is she looking at me? Like, it was so awkward. And I was just standing there, you know. And then, um, all of a sudden, she breaks out the question. I know this may be a little bit creepy slash weird, but I was wondering if you make YouTube videos. And I was like, yeah, I do, actually. That's crazy. How do you know that? And she was like, oh, my God. And then she went on saying something I don't even remember because it was too long ago. And um, she was like, I could have swore I saw you singing. And that was when I made singing videos, okay? So that was one time. And then another time I went on a field trip um, to this place that's only in my town. And then later that night, somebody else, somebody from YouTube messaged me saying, Hey, oh my god, I didn't want to come up to you. I saw you were hanging out with your friends and um, you were at this place. And so they saw me there because there's no other place in the world that has the exact location of the field trip I was on. And I didn't mention it to anybody, so there's no way they could have known that. And then another time, I was at my sister's school, and a lot of her friends um, watch my YouTube videos. Well, they did, like, a year ago. I, I don't know if they still do. And uh, my sister and I got there, and it was so cute. They were all like... And I was like, Amaya, who are they? And then she was like, oh, they watch your videos. And then I walked over to them, and they were, like, talking to me. And they were like, oh, my God, you and Chanel need to hang out again. And it was so cute because, like, they know Chanel, too. And she's one of my good YouTube buddies. One of my, like, YouTube best friends more so. Oh, my God, I'm not about to eat another one. And another time recently, I found out, holy crap, two girls... Um, on YouTube message me and the first day of school I found out subscribers go to my school like subscribers not people that I know that know about my YouTube but like I mean subscribers that just became freshmen and had already been watching my videos and found out I was in their hallways and messaged me and said oh my god Michaela um, 
I saw you in the hallway. I won't tell anyone what school you go to, I promise. And I thought that was so sweet. And it's crazy to know that, like, I have somebody at my school. And they named my school and everything. So I was like, oh, my God, that's crazy. And... Oh, and another time, which was, like, two weeks before school started back up, I had a subscriber notice me in the line at H&M at a mall that's, like... It's kind of like a popular mall where I live, like in my county area, kind of, sort of. So, um, yeah, so I was there, and I remember I was with Nicole, and then all of a sudden, I get this Instagram um, at reply, and someone's like, oh my god, I just saw you in the line at H&M, and they tweeted that to me, too. I was like, really? Because I was just there, and I was like, oh my god, you should have come up to me, dude. Like, why? Why? I could have taken an Instagram photo with her and that would have been awesome, you know? If you guys see me ever, you better walk up to me because I promise I will be nice to you. We will take pics and we will be BFFs. Okay, so, um, yeah. For the fans and subscribers in Florida, can you have a meet and greet and bring your sister? Well, I don't know. My mom always gets kind of like sketchy about me having meet and greets because I've mentioned it a couple times to her before and just to get her kind of get her approval she thinks that she watches Law and Order SVU too much but she thinks um some creeper or a few creepers are going to show up there and they're just going to be behind the scenes and they're going to be like stalking us and she thinks I'm going to get abducted because people are going to find out where I am and I'm like really it's okay calm down so I might do one when I turn 18 because then she'll probably be more like okay with it you know I'm an adult I can handle myself mama okay I have two more by the same person I forgot to answer it city you'd love to go to um, I would love to go to like Rome or Venice Beach in California um, California California and language you'd love to learn I love to learn Spanish and I'm currently in Spanish 3 only because my credits didn't get transferred from 8th grade over to my high school so yeah I had to like retake the dang thing so I'm actually kind of happy. I've had great Spanish teachers and like it's just amazing to know that if I go to like Costa Rica or Puerto Rico, by the way, I'm Puerto Rican and Italian, so half Puerto Rican. Um, I think that I should be able to know Spanish. My family doesn't really speak it, but yeah, I want to know Spanish a lot more because I would love to like go to different countries and communicate, you know, so yeah, I really need to do my homework right now. Like, this is, like, going on 17 minutes exactly. So, yes, thank you guys for watching my Twitter Q&A. If you'd like to see another one, just holla at Abala. Message me or something. And, um, you know what? You guys, I'm allowing you to go ask me as many questions as you want from now until forever on my Twitter account. Just hashtag me, ask Michaela. um with your questions and I'll go over those in my next Twitter Q&A video if you want to see another one. If you guys have stayed with me this long, thumbs up this video, dude, because it's almost like going on 20 minutes in a few minutes here, so that's pretty crazy. I think this will be my longest video ever and this will be the longest upload ever, so I love you guys so much and um, I know you're probably hungry by now unless you were eating with me this whole time, so go get yourself a snack. You've done well. You've been watching me this whole time. Okay, bye guys. Love you so much. Creepy.